All right, guys, after a day of being glued to WFLA and their excellent coverage on the Titanic explorers who have now been sadly declared deceased and the debris has been found, I'm catching up on all of the other things that I've missed. And I caught Ziggy live with a call that she made to Fred Hill in jail. This is Fred in jail. I'm going to play you a minute or so of that live stream because the majority of the call, and go and watch it, I'll leave a link to it in the description box, was about just general stuff. There was a little bit about Summer Wells and Fred Hill is claiming that he knows who took Summer Wells and where Summer Wells is. Ziggy fast forwarded through some of the information that she may or may not release at a later date but what she did include i don't know how i feel about it so i'm going to let you listen to it if you didn't hear it live please do go and watch the whole call though because you've got context and stuff i'm going to play it and then come back and tell you why i don't know how i feel about it oh and also i've kind of put a filter over it to blur it a little bit because you could see other inmates in the background and I wasn't really sure how I felt about that. I don't know if they can be identified, but I blurred it a little bit nonetheless. I don't think for a second that you're involved in Summerwell's case. I just, I think that Andy um, Bernard is, and I don't... Um, well, I don't think he's probably got something involved, but another person I think was involved that we then discussed yesterday. I discussed it with some, with some of the bigger things. And yeah. They're supposed to be taking a certain area out. Field road or? Okay. Uh, so this is where he uh, he talks about yesterday. He Maybe I'll try to fast forward like a minute. I mean, I, he doesn't mention any name, but I don't want to give a heads up. Like, even though the person's supposedly deceased, though. <laughs> anyway, I just want to tell everybody, you know. Yeah. So, so they don't think you have anything to do with it, they? So for a second, I don't no, I'm, no, I'm just wondering if they're giving you a hard time or if they believe you. No, 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 they're not. So they believe they're you? Not okay. No, they know I ain't got nothing to do with it either. Right. I wish they would publicly yeah. announce that. Yeah, it's just the public gets it don't want me around like trash. Okay, so first I will say that I've never thought that Fred had anything to do with Summer's disappearance. Although Don went to visit him in the evening that Summer disappeared, and Fred's implicated Andy, his cousin once removed as being there on Ben Hill Road uh, and Candice in his driveway on the afternoon summer disappeared and then him conveniently leaving Ben Hill at the time summer disappeared. All of these things you could say, well, maybe he's trying to distract away from himself. I don't know, I've just never thought that Fred was the one. However, here's the thing about this new conversation with Ziggy. Now, Obviously, I don't know what Ziggy skipped through, but she did say that no names were mentioned and she doesn't know the name of this person. She didn't ask because it, she felt that Fred didn't want to say, which is fair enough. But this person is deceased. So this is a person, I don't know who he was talking to yesterday, I couldn't catch every single word he was saying. Maybe if I listen to it a few more times, I'll be able to understand more. Generally, I can understand Fred. I just sometimes have to listen to it a few times. He has got quite a thick accent, but it was also not great audio either. Anyway, so this person who took Summer and the place where she is is not a readily accessible place, but law enforcement are checking it out. Right, here's the thing. Here's the thing where... I don't know how I feel about this because although people in that holler may know more, right, may know more than what has been said, what has been made public, Fred has spoken to Ziggy on numerous occasions, like literally numerous occasions, and he's never mentioned this. Why not? And now he's on a recorded call. He knows this is being recorded, not just by Ziggy, but by the jail. Now he mentions this. Why? 
I don't know guys why mention it now when you're being recorded so who is this person who died in the area hmm before I go, I'll also say just a little plug for my Psychology of Philly side video that has been waiting, it's been waiting in the members area for several days for YouTube to decide whether or not they're going to monetize it and they're not. All right, well, uh, whatever. So I put it out. So I'm plugging it because if I'm not making any money on it, neither are YouTube. So they won't advertise it. They won't push it out. They won't notify people. So yeah. And I spent a long time on that video. But not to worry. These things happen. But do go and check it out. Psychology of Philicide. It's about parents who kill their kids. Alright guys, that's it for now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye guys.